we shall never forget. Those were some of the most devastating fires, not only in San Diego County history, but in the whole history of, of the state of California. I remember parking in the middle of the road and thinking at that point we weren't gonna make it. And my mother got out of her car and I got out of mine and we hugged each other, told each other we loved each other. And we sat there as the fire was circled all around us, had jumped across, everything was burning around us and just waited and prayed that we were gonna make it through. And we did. Our house didn't make it. And it looked like something you would see in a military field hospital. There was injured people, there was bandaging, there was uh, burn dressings. I know that every firefighter that was there, that was on my property that I hugged before I left because they told us to evacuate. I know their hearts were breaking that they couldn't save our home. And to this day, I wish I could just go back to those firefighters and say thank you again. But it doesn't really hit you until you pull up that driveway and see nothing, nothing there. Ruins, all black, um, and all your possessions gone. I woke up every morning and I, I woke up crying. The uh, American Red Cross stations are at full capacity, and so uh, folks are encouraged to come to Qualcomm. That afternoon, we evacuated 22 severely burned people from the border region. And I remember personally coming up Barrett Smith Road in my pickup and turning, and there was just three severely burned people standing on the side of the road uh, with no other to help them. So we look out the back window and we notice the fire is very, very close. Next thing you know, they're saying, it's probably a good idea for you guys to leave. All of the freeway shut down, both north and southbound. It was, it was for hours. We sat there in the fire. We had gone all the way around us on all sides, jumped the road, and we we're watching everything burn in front of us and just sat there thinking, are we going to get through it? We didn't know. We will never forget, and that's why we're here today, to always remember back in 2007, those seven people that lost their lives the 580 square miles that were burned in this county and the hundreds and hundreds of homes and structures that were burned. But people came together, but we will never forget. <laughs>